Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's edition of The Porch. Thank you so much for coming on and joining me at The Porch. We get our title from Solomon's Porch, where the early believers met, beginning on the day of Pentecost, well, upper room in Pentecost, but eventually to Solomon's Porch, and fellowshiped, prayed together, saw miracles, breakthroughs, and we believe the same thing can happen in these digital spaces as we come together on social media. And today we're gonna to continue our book by book journey through the Bible. Today we're going into the book of Psalms. And I do want to thank all of those who have been participating, listening, learning, especially those who've downloaded the free ebook, which is still available at jebiblestudy.com. If you want a copy of the Old Testament survey so far, we're gonna add the New Testament survey to it as we get closer to finishing up the 39 books of the Old Testament. And again, you can go to jebiblestudy.com. There's also, you can review the first five videos. There's separate videos that I've done apart from the ones that we've done on Facebook Live and Clubhouse. We've done Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And if you miss any of those or you want to review it, take advantage of the videos as well at jebiblestudy.com, jebiblestudy.com. Uh, as you come on today, please share the broadcast. I need your help in getting more people notified. These social media platforms do not notify everyone who follows me. So I do need you to help me to do that. And you can simply do it by sharing it on your page in Facebook Live, on Facebook Live rather, or in Clubhouse by going down to the bottom of the app and hitting that second icon from the left. You can comment, you don't have to, but share it. That helps me to reach more people, which I believe is a very important study, a foundational study, a Bible survey. Gives you a much better understanding of the books of the Bible. You review certain things that you may have not thought of in, in many years or many days, certain topics. We find Christ in these books. It, 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 it really gives you a better handle on scripture as a whole. So please take advantage of this opportunity to study with us today. And uh, thank you so much. Also, we have over 10,000 people that have now registered for Master the Prophetic. That begins next Monday. It's one of our challenges and workshops that we do every year under Master the Prophetic, and you can register free of charge. All you have to do is give your email and we'll send you the Zoom link free of charge. There is a workbook that we offer, which is optional. If you want to study, have something extra during this challenge, I'll be joined uh, with by uh, Jennifer Ives will join me, Norma Barrero, Ryan Lestrange, and Taurus Solomon and myself, all five of us will be teaching on the prophetic during this five-day challenge, Monday through Friday. And I want you to register. If you're new to the prophetic, if you're learning about the prophetic, if you want to know more about the prophetic, I want to, I want to assist you in, in learning and growing. And um, please take advantage of this particular Workshop. I'm looking for the book that I um, often recommend. Let me find it here. I think I have it now. It's called The Prophet's Manual, my, my favorite book on the prophetic. Uh, it is a rather large book that's available at Amazon.com. It has prophetic activations, the ministry of prophets, personal corporate prophecy, prophetic worship, the blessings of prophecy, the benefits of prophecy, the pitfalls of bad prophetics. All of that is in this book. The Prophet's Manual. So if you don't have a copy, order your copy today at Amazon.com and um, study along with us during this challenge and um, you can you can register for it. We'll put that link up in on Facebook Live. We'll put the link up. It's there on, face, on my Facebook page as well as in Clubhouse as well for you to register. Also, uh, Saturday, I will be at Crusaders. I missed the last two weeks. I thought I would be there last Saturday, but um, I got delayed in Dallas and couldn't get back in time. But this Saturday, I will be there at 3821 South Michigan at 2 p.m. 
Now, I'll be ministering. Of course, Kathy Summers and the ASAP band will be leading praise and worship. And I'll be there to bring a word from the Lord this Saturday. So Crusaders, I want to see you there. If you're a visitor, come 38, open to the public, 3821 South Michigan on the south side of Chicago this Saturday at 2 p.m. Amen. So it's, it, it's been great going through these books. We've looked at Genesis, the book of beginnings, Exodus, the book of departure, uh, Leviticus, the book of offerings, Numbers, the book of wandering, Deuteronomy, the book of the second law, Joshua, the book of conquest, Judges, the book of deliverers, Ruth, the book of the kinsman redeemer, 1 Samuel, the book of David's sufferings, 2 Samuel, the book of David's kingdom, 1 Kings, the book of the divided kingdom, 2 Kings, the book of dispersion, 1 Chronicles, the book of the theocracy, 2 Chronicles, the book of apostasy and revival or restoration. And then we looked at Ezra, the book of restoration, Nehemiah, the book of rebuilding, Esther, the book of providence. We've looked at, um, um, what was the next book? I'm, uh, pro oh, I'm sorry, Joel, the book of suffering and restoration. And today we're looking at Psalms, the book of prayer and praise. I'm going to read directly from the notes so you can follow me. Also, I want to thank all of those. Again, share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. If you're just coming on uh, Facebook Live, hit the share button, share the broadcast. You can also give through Facebook Live by hitting the stars. If you love what you're hearing and te love the teaching, give through the stars, which is right next to the heart and like button. You can also sow and at uh, Cash App, JE Global, which stands for John Eckhart Global, and PayPal at paypal.me slash Apostle J-E, the number one, or PayPal at Apostle J-E, the number one. And um, this is the last day of the month as we get ready to go into the month of February. So if you did not have a chance to sow a first fruit seed for this month to support what I'm doing around the world, our different projects in the missions and water projects and different things we're doing, we'll do another room this week as well on what we're doing with medical missions and water projects in Primarily in Liberia. We've done about 16 boreholes in Liberia now, and we're, we're putting up our clinic now. And so I want you to help me to do that. And um, you can do that by going to Cash App JE Global or PayPal at paypal.me slash Apostle JE, the number one. I've been asking many of you as possible this month to sow a seed of $20.23, which represents this year to be a year of favor, grace, blessing, prosperity, abundance. I decree that over everyone who has given. If you've not had a chance to give, give with the number 23 in it. $23, 2023, 50, 23, 123, even 1,023. Those kinds of seeds really help us do a lot more uh, in these in these places. Thank you, someone. Just uh, Takesha, thank you for your seed in the PayPal, all of those that are sowing. And as you sow today, you can also sow through Zelle. Um, thank you for your first fruit offering of 2023 in the PayPal. Thank you so much, those that are sowing right now. I appreciate it. I thank you for it. And um, I decree over you favor, grace, blessing, prosperity, abundance, multiplication, and increase. Psalms 115, may you increase more and more you and your children, may you increase a thousand times more based on Deuteronomy 1.11. May you come into a wealthy place, Psalm 66.14, and may wealth and riches be in your house, Psalms 112 verse 3. May God make all grace or favor abound toward you, that you having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. And also may God multiply your seed sown, 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. I also decree Ephesians 3.20, may God do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. I decree over your accounts, your businesses, your ministries, your finances. I decree quantum revenue, quantum increase, quantum breakthroughs, quantum multiplication. May you enter into that quantum realm and see abundance, prosperity, favor, grace. May you experience the blessing of the Lord that makes rich. Thank you so much for your seed of 2023 in the PayPal. May the blessing of the Lord make rich 
and had no sorrow, Proverbs 10 and 33. Also, Philippians 4, 19, may God supply all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Psalms 23, may you not want, may the Lord be your shepherd, you will not want in, in 2023, and may your head be anointed with oil and your cup run over, overflow. Thank you for sowing. Uh, again, 2023 in the PayPal. Thank all of those that are doing it. This will be the, the last day you can do this first fruits. So do it if you've not done it. Let's believe God for Proverbs chapter three, because of your first fruits, that your barns will be filled with plenty. Your storehouses, your accounts will be filled with plenty and your presses or your vats will burst out with new wine. I decree new things, Isaiah 42 and nine. Behold, the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Thank you, Chanel, for your seat of 2023 in the PayPal. Thank all of those that are sowing and giving today. We really do decree favor, grace, blessing. And Luke 6, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. There is a special grace that comes when you give to the poor. Uh, we've given hundreds of thousands of dollars in the water projects, clean water in places where they don't have access to clean water, digging wells and boreholes. And now we're providing a medical clinic, especially prenatal care for women, pregnancy care for women who don't have access for clinic, clinical care. They actually, a lot of children actually die in some of these places because they don't have basic needs in some of the remote areas of, of especially a poor nation like Liberia because of civil war and strife over years, it's really been devastated, the infrastructure. And we're, we're working through the church as well. It is also a way that we minister to people, show them the love of Christ, and then give them the opportunity to hear the gospel. So you also help us to advance the kingdom. Thank you for your New Year's seed of 20, 2323 in the PayPal. So you're, you're, and there's a blessing that God promises to giving to the poor. The, the scripture promises great blessing and favor to those who meet the needs of the of the needy. It, it, the, those who are strong support the weak. Uh, Acts 20, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So thank you. When you meet the needy, the hurting, the poor, uh, God blesses you for doing that. Your seed, your seed, seed, your children. Uh, Proverbs 13, 22, may you leave an inheritance to your seed, seed, and the wealth. Thank you, Archelia. Thank you for your seed of 2023 in the PayPal. And the wealth of the sinner is later for is, 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 is the wealth of the sinner is later for the just or eventually finds its way into the hands of the just. One more time, don't forget to register for Master of the Prophetic. We're getting close to 15,000 people that have registered already. It's free of charge. You'll see the link given on in Clubhouse uh, as well as on Facebook Live. And um, you can simply give us your email and address. We'll mail you the Zoom link. It begins Monday. Monday it begins. And I'll be ministering again along with Jennifer Ives, Norma Barrero, Ryan Lestrange, and Taurus Solomon. We'll all be teaching more in-depth teaching on the prophetic. Activations, it's always a phenomenal time when we do our Master of the Prophetic. Okay, let's um, get ready to go into the book of Psalms the book of prayer and praise, the book of prayer and praise. Most of the songs, of course, were written by David, but others were written by Asaph and others were written during the days of Hezekiah. The Psalms are really songs that are recorded. And many of the Psalms are prophetic songs. That's why I love these songs because David would often prophesy through song and there are many prophecies concerning Christ in the Psalms, amazing scriptures, amazing prophecies about Christ, uh, his sufferings, uh, his coming uh, recorded in the Psalms. Many of the Psalms are quoted in the New Testament. Many of the Psalms are prayers of David during his sufferings. Remember, we talked about 1 Samuel, the, 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 the book of David's sufferings when he was running from Saul, when he was betrayed by Absalom. He would sing these songs, pray these prayers during his affliction, and also the sufferings of Christ were coming through him um, as a result. Thank you, Darlene, for your seed. Um, the the, the Zell, E-C-K-H-J-O-H-N at gmail.com. If you want to Zell, I'm 
may not have mentioned that, E-C-K-H-J-O-H-N at gmail.com. Thank you for that seed. Um, for instance, one of the major Psalms is Psalms 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? David actually said that when he was going through, but Jesus said that on the cross. So it was the spirit of Christ in David actually speaking a future event when he will be on the cross through the experiences of David when David felt as if God had forsaken him. Psalms are filled with praise and exaltation. Psalms is the praise and worship book of the Bible. Psalms is also the longest book of the Bible. Psalms reveals the importance of prayer, praise, and worship in the life of a believer. Here, David, a prophet, David, a type uh, of, thank you for your seed into PayPal. David, a type of Christ. David, a type of the righteous, a picture of a believer, a picture of prayer, praise, worship, integral in the life of a believer as typified by David and others who wrote the Psalms as well. Psalms covers in every important subject known to the believer. I mean, it covers uh, pain, weeping, crying, deliverance, healing, restoration, almost everything. Faith, believing, power, authority. It covers the wicked, persecution, affliction, justice, injustice. Uh, it covers prophecy, the word, it covers almost every area that a believer, temptation, restoration, forgiveness, mercy, grace. It is an amazing, amazing book, 150 Psalms that covers almost every area. You can find almost anything you're dealing with. You can find a verse from the book of Psalms that will comfort you, strengthen you, deliver you, heal you, restore you, give you hope. It has always been a great book of hope and encouragement. It's one of the most prophetic books in the Bible because remember, prophecies are given for edification, exhortation, and comfort. The Psalms are filled with messianic prophecies of Christ. Christ is revealed as the begotten son, the son of man, the judge, God, the king, the suffering servant, the anointed one, the cornerstone, the risen one, the shepherd, the ascended one, the pierced one, and the priest. All of those are found in Psalms, uh, which are pictures of Christ. Key verses, Psalms 45 and 6. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Psalm 68 and 4. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Psalm 72 and 20. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. Psalms 95 and 6, O come, let us worship. Let us bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Psalms 150 verse 6, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Now, that's just a few. You probably have many favorite scriptures from the book of Psalms. The, the key verses can be uh, innumerable because there's so many. Uh, we mentioned Psalm 23, one of the greatest Psalms in, in scripture. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It's an amazing, amazing song that has comforted believers for generations. Key words, prayer, praise, worship, sing, song, psalm, Zion, and heart. Prayer, praise, worship, sing, song, psalm, Zion, and heart. Prayer, mentioned 29 times in the King James Version, more than any other book in the Bible. Praise, mentioned 150 times in the King James Bible, more than any other book in the Bible. There are also 150 Psalms. Worship mentioned 16 times. A revelation, the, the revelation is the only book that has more mentions 22 times. Sing or song mentioned 60 times. And song is mentioned, uh, uh, sing is mentioned 60 times in the King James Version. And song is mentioned 16 times both more than any other book. So this, this book shows the importance of singing, the importance of songs in the life of a believer, in worship. David, the sweet psalmist of Israel, the one that sang, the one that worshiped, 
And singing is such an important part of our celebrations, our worship, our praise. It comes from this particular book that shows us the importance of singing and songs. Then the word psalm, a sacred psalm or hymn, psalms flow from the infilling of the Holy Spirit, Ephesians 5, 18 through 19. And then Zion, the place of God's habitation, the temple and house of God in Jerusalem. Zion is emphasized as the proper place of sacrifice and true worship in Israel. Zion is mentioned 37 times in the book of Psalms. And then the words heart and soul, the mind, emotions, the innermost part of man. Heart is mentioned 130 times and soul is mentioned 132 times, more than any other book in the Bible. Think of that. Heart mentioned 100, 130 times, soul mentioned 132 times. So really, <coughs> it is a book <clears throat> that really deals with the heart of man and the soul of man. That is really the importance of prayer and worship. It has to do with your heart. It is something inward. Prayer, praise, worship comes from the heart, comes from the soul, which is the mind, the will, and the emotions. Uh, prayer, praise, and worship uh, flow from the heart or soul, from the innermost being. Key figures, God, David, and Asaph. God mentioned 386 times in the King James Version, more than any other book in the Bible. Psalms revealed the true, the worshipers' love and passion for God. David, the key figure in the Psalms, David was the sweet psalmist of Israel. Second Samuel twenty three and one. David's sufferings, victories, trust, faith, tears, warfare, praise, and prayers are recorded in the Psalms. Jesus sings through us in the midst of His church. Psalms twenty two twenty two Hebrews two and twelve. Uh, I love the teacher on prophetic worship is actually Jesus singing through us that is found in Psalms 22, 22, quoted by uh, um, Paul in Hebrews 2 and 12, where the Lord actually sings in the midst of the church. Well, the way Jesus sings, I call Jesus the Chenanah, the head psalmist of the church. He sings through us, through the Holy Spirit. When we sing new songs, prophetic songs is one of the most amazing things that you can do in worship and his singing is allow Christ, the spirit in you, to sing these prophetic songs. Then Asaph, a lead musician, seer, and priest who stood before the ark to worship in David's tabernacle, 1 Chronicles 25, and the Psalms of Asaph are the 12 Psalms numbered um, as 50 and 73 through 83. Asaph's descendants are faithful in continuing his legacy throughout the generations. I wrote a book called The Spirit of Asaph. I believe it's available at amazon.com, which talks about prophetic worship. I did a whole study on Asaph. Asaph is one of those people that we often, we hear about David a lot in worship. We don't hear much about Asaph, but Asaph was a prophetic worshiper along with Heman and Jedithan in David's tabernacle in 1 Chronicles chapter 25. And I wrote a book called The Spirit of Asaph. I encourage you to get it. It's, it's called The Spirit of Asaph, Raising Up a New Generation of prophetic worshipers. Okay, 17 Psalms are regarded as messianic, various verses speaking of Christ in either the third person, Psalm 8, Psalm 22, Psalms 89, Psalms 109, Psalm 118, and Psalm 132, uh, the, sec the second person, Psalm 45, 68, 102, and 110. O Messiah speaking for himself in Psalm 2, 16, 22, 40, 41, 69, and 78. So it's an amazing book. Prophetic, worship, glory, praise, prayer, suffering, affliction, victory, overcoming the wicked. Uh, it, is, it is one of our, of course, one of the favorite books that we preach from, teach from, worship from, sing from get stirred. It is an amazing, amazing book. And I really can't do it justice by doing a quick survey. But remember, it's the book of prayer and praise. It, it was always Israel's prayer and hymnal. And um, it is the book of prayer and praise. Prayer is important to the believer and praise, of course, is important to the believer as well. Well, then we're going to talk about it. 
Um, tomorrow we're going to do Proverbs, the book of wisdom, one of my favorite books. I love wisdom. And then we're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastes and, um, you know, the book of vanity, um, vanity of vanities. Talk about that. Another one of my favorite books. I love the books of wisdom. Okay. Job, uh, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes are called books of wisdom. They're full of the wisdom of God. They're full of the, the, the prophetic, full of wisdom. It, it is, it is amazing. These books are some of my favorites. I know they're some of your favorites too. Thank you for sharing. You can still share the broadcast. Someone may need to hear this teaching and start following us as we go through these 66 books of the Bible. Don't forget to download the free ebook. If you don't have it, follow me as I study, jebiblestudy.com, jebiblestudy.com. It's free of charge. If you want to sow a seed, you can, but it's not necessary. And also the first five books that we cover, Genesis, the book of beginnings, Exodus, the book of departure, um, Leviticus, the book of offerings, Numbering, the book of wandering, and Deuteronomy, the book of the second law. I do a whole teaching on those. I'm going to do some more recordings and do all 66 eventually, probably put them um, on jeglobal.com uh, because I really want people to have a good framework in their study of the Bible, a good survey, a good framework really helps you to understand the scripture, the background of the scripture, who wrote the scripture, the historical background, Christ in the scripture, really give us the ability to rightly divide the word of truth. Again, if you want to sow a seed, if you're being blessed by the teaching, go to Cash App at JE Global, go to PayPal at paypal.me slash Apostle JE, the number one. Um, you can also give through Venmo also at JE, uh, JE Global. You can also give through Zelle at ECKH, J-O-H-N at gmail.com. Last day, sow that seed of 2023, or for some of you who really want to bless what I'm doing around the world, $1,023. That would really be a blessing. We can do more missionary work. We're doing, we've done 55 boreholes now. We're on our way to 100 of them. Uh, we're building a clinic uh, in Liberia, um, supporting uh, missions and teaching orphans in South Africa. Thank you so much for helping us to do this and giving to the poor. I bless you for that. Well, I'm going to sign off of uh, Facebook Live. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to sew, I'm going to leave it on for a few more minutes. And until you hear from me again, as always, God bless you and double shalom. Okay, those that are still with me in Clubhouse, I'm going to turn it over to Octavia, and she is going to moderate the room. God bless. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone in the room. I'm quite sure you can hear me this morning. Just that I had a bit of an issue. I kept getting kicked out. But nevertheless, we are here this, this morning. So 